well of the song. Sober is a very, very passionate song. I feel like she's really, really belting the lyrics. So probably a lot of passion through the performer um, who's lip syncing. Um, I would say because the song is about being sober, I would say there's probably going to be some motifs to alcohol in there. Uh, so I would expect some shots of like bottles and stuff like that. I expect there to be a guy in the video. And I think, I don't know, I just expect it to be a, more about a boy, like because of the whole title of the song. Um, I expect a girl and a boy, obviously, so they've just woken up. Um, and I think flashbacks of their memories and stuff, like when they were in love. Um, perhaps um, a couple, and you can kind of see the difference in the relationship when he's um, slightly drunk. I'm expecting to see professionalism and the effect of alcohol on this character in the video. Um, I really, really like the lip syncing and, and the editing, though I'm a bit biased. Um, uh, yeah, I thought it matched up really, really well. There was certain, there was one moment in the music video where the lip syncing was a little bit off with the music, but apart from that, it matched up really, really well. And I like that you cut between different sections of lip syncing because it made it more visually interesting for the viewer. I really, really like the music and visuals. I like that you had certain iconographic motifs going on throughout because that provided a very, very clear visual style to a music video. And yeah, I thought it was really, really good. I thought it was really good and it seems like you put a lot of effort and time into it and I think it was all on point apart from one part in the video where I think the lip syncing was a bit off they were very good they were just the way I expected it and for high standard I think it went really well with the um, song so the timing was right mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I think you used like different, you didn't just do it all in black and white, you used different colours, so mm. that's good. Um, the lip syncing is always in time, um, and I like how it nicely flows between scenes. Um, I like how you've got the colour changes, you've got some black and white shots as well as some colour ones, and that makes it very interesting to watch. In the first few scenes of the video, the character is in sync with the music but towards the end where the song where in the song the artist kind of yells the lyrics the character in the video isn't in sync and it seems a bit off and it doesn't look very professional I liked the range of transitional effects but one in particular that I didn't like was the um, video scene where the character in the video is walking away and overlaying above it is the, a video of a rose. It just looked very unprofessional. I thought the visuals were very well put together and the music wasn't something I would usually listen to but it did seem interesting. I really, really, really like the different use of shot types. So you had some shots that were very, very close up, you had some that were tracking, you had like a, a clear variety of shots. And I also like that there was different sections where the lip syncing was done, um, because I think it kept the viewer really entertained and the editing was really, really good. There were certain transitions in there that were looked as if they were very, very technically challenging to make and I think it really paid off. I like the way you added the message bit where she's talking through the messages and I like the way you used the rose petals and the lighting is really good. I like the different transitions and there's like one scene where she does the head thing, I like that and I like how you use different backgrounds as well. It's how you kind of layered it, how you can see her face in the background as well as having the bottle in front of her or the rose petals in front of her. I like, I really like the scene where you had her head moving, I thought that was really creative and I liked how you had the black background and you just see the lights around her and stuff and the different like scene changes like how you were in the woods and how you just had a black background in the bedroom and stuff I liked the shot of oh in the beginning I liked the shot of 
the rose petals falling I thought that looked very professional and I liked the scenes sorry shots of her just walking around in the forest because she looks quite lost and it kind of symbolizes how she feels lost in her relationship Um, I would only say the only thing I didn't like was the fact that there was just a couple of moments, like I said earlier, where the lip syncing was slightly off, but apart from that I thought it was really, really good. It's hard to follow the storyline, it doesn't really make sense. Um, I think you thought too much of the lyrics, so you kind of showed them in the music video, and I think if you did different shots, like from down below or behind her, or you could have done like an eye sort of shot. The shots were slightly off centre, like when you were smashing the beer bottle, you couldn't always see the whole beer bottle. The petals, maybe you could um, like sprinkle them a bit more because it, it looked like they were kind of just dropped a bit. I didn't like the shot of the beer bottle smashing on the floor because, maybe because like the bottle wasn't in the frame when it smashed, so you didn't really see it, you just saw like loads of shards of glasses falling on the floor. to improve, maybe just go back to that one section where the lip syncing was slightly out of time and rectify that. But apart from that, I think it was excellent. A bit more sense of what the story is about and kind of add things so it shows what's happening rather than just following the song. Perhaps you could have put the beer bottle in it a bit more because the whole song was about alcohol and being sober and stuff and you didn't see many shots of that actual alcohol improve and make it look more professional instead of using black paper as a black background actually use like a black wall or even photoshop it in